the uh, former Cordelius Club. So you may remember that um, as well as uh, needing dissatisfaction, hunger, poverty and things like that to start a revolution, uh, those people that are hungry, dissatisfied and in poverty need to be educated in ideas. They need to come out new ideas themselves, themselves and they also need to be able to um, come together, meet together and organise themselves to make a revolution. Not that simple. Okay, and one of the ways they did that was to join political clubs. Now, here you see the Cordelius Club. Um, it's in the site of a former convent. Uh, the area around here is called Cordelius and named after the convent, obviously. And it was always a big radical area. Okay, lots of revolutionaries came from this area. And um, some of the big names from the revolution were all members of the Cordelius Political Club. Um, the more, let's say, Towards the end of the revolution, conservative elements, for example, Danton, he was a member of the Cordelius Club, uh, Camino de Moulin was a member of the Cordelius Club, um, but also some of the more revolutionary, more extreme uh, members of the revolution, certainly later on. Uh, Hebert, he was a member of the Cordelius Club, more, shall we say, left wing, extreme vert side of it, uh, as was uh, Jean Paul Marat. So, various different people here, big important people in the revolution here, all members of the Cordelius Club. And what was interesting about them was they believed in having low entrance fees. Okay, so the membership of the club was not just middle class, educated individuals like uh, the Jacobin Club was, but also working class, poverty stricken, sans culottes as well. In fact, one eyewitness from the time says that if you went into um, a Cordelius Club meeting, uh, there were so many people there had such terrible clothes, you might think it was a gathering of tramps instead of, uh, you know, politically educated people. Bit of a negative spin put on the, the sans culottes that went to this political club, but it was an interesting political club because it spanned the difference between educated revolutionaries and also working class poverty stricken uh, sans culottes as well. So, very important club here, the Cordelia.